I said, so what is it, baby? I was just calling back. We getting close. I was just wondering if you was going to make it. I said, baby, I, I can't make it. I'm, I'm working that weekend. You don't even know when it is. I said, but I'm working every weekend, though. I know, I saw it on the internet. You busy, you just on tour everywhere. Congratulations, Uncle Steve, you doing real good. I said, thank you, baby. Well, is you gonna come? I said, baby, I'm working every weekend. You just saw it on the internet. I ain't gonna be able to make it. It's on a Wednesday. <laughs> Who you know? Getting married on a damn Wednesday. You already know this finna be some ghetto mess right here. I told so now I said, baby, look, I ain't gonna make it. I I I just can't do it. I'm working somewhere. Listen, baby, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you a, a vacation. You ain't never been outside of Cleveland. She ain't been nowhere. She ain't never been to Akron. Ain't been to Canton, Toledo. She ain't been outside the city of Cleveland. I said, I'm gonna give you a vacation. You and little Ricky. I'm going to send y'all to Hawaii for seven days. Oh, Uncle Steve. Ooh. Are we going to have to catch an airplane? I said, yeah, baby, you're going to have to catch it. I ain't never been on a plane before. Ooh, I'm excited. Oh, Uncle Steve, I got a problem, though. I need a babysitter. And then she paused, like I'm finna raise my hand for this here. Ain't no way in hell I'm watching your kids. See, when you got five kids, you don't need a babysitter. For the week you gone, you need to put them kids in foster care. You got, we got five kids, you got to get their ass placed. You got to put two over there, one cross down, one down. There ain't nobody finna watch five kids. So I said, baby, look, I ain't, I, that's all I'm going to be able to do. And okay, well, I sure wish wanted you to come. It would mean a lot to me. I said, okay, well, all right, holler at you, click. I get off the phone, my wife there. My wife beautiful, but pleasant personality. I've never been this happy in my life. I never have known this. I'm telling you, she is the most beautiful thing ever happened to me. But she just, you know, she too nice. So I got off the phone. She said, so are you going to go to the wedding? I said, baby, I'm not going to the wedding. She said, Steve, I really think you should go to the wedding. I said, I think you don't know my family. This ain't no time for you to try to be a good Christian. Let it go. Let's just keep moving on. I think, really think we should go. Look, your family looks up to you. And you need to be there for them more. And we are going to go to this wedding. Because I would be highly disappointed in you if you did not go to your niece's wedding. <laughs> so I'm weighing it out. Do I really care that she's highly disappointed in me? Because right now, I really don't give a d I'm going to buy you a purse and some shoes and we're going to move on past this right here. Hell, I'll get you a car. But why has we got to go to Cleveland, though? So I looked at her. I said, okay, all right, we're going. When we get there, don't say nothing. We're going to go to the wedding. So we go to the wedding. It was everything I thought it was going to be. This ghetto raggedy ass wedding. Listen to me. Poor people ain't got no business having weddings with receptions. You ain't got no money for no reception. Now she done made bologna sandwiches and cut them up each sandwich into 32s and the stuck toothpicks down in each one of them. 32s! We got to walk around the table eight times to make a sandwich. 